Hi everyone, welcome back to Metanoia. My name is Carrie Jane, and I would like to start off this video with thanking my Patreon supporters for making this video possible. If you would like to support me on Patreon or purchase a reading uh, through me, please visit the links in the description. Today I'm going to be talking about the numerology of October. October is a very interesting month, as you will soon find out. I would like to mention, before I dive into everything, that this is a timeless video, so we're not talking about the October of 2020 when this is being viewed. We're talking about uh, just October in general, and so this could be applied to any time. And if you would like to know personally what you're going through, that is something that I offer uh, through my Patreon service. And that's only $5 a month right now, and I don't know how much longer that's going to be as more and more people sign up. Uh, so just keep that in the back of your head if uh, you're, you're interested in maybe not a numerology report reading, but like a month-by-month -month check in And also, <laughs> before we dive into truly uh, that what October means and what it brings for us, we need to examine the last nine months we just went through an entire cycle. The numbers one through nine is is kind of like a start to finish completion, but the year is not over yet. And so the months 10, 11, and 12, October, November, and December are kind of like training wheels for the next year as well as a time of integration for what we did or what we learned in the past nine months. Every single October, something happens where we start to feel the next year. Our attention is drawn to something else. And for each of us, that's something unique based on where we are in our cycle. Um, we start to perhaps even take initiative as the number one is all about independence, uh, hard work in that way, uh, trying to be successful, be the best at what you do, etc. And this is something that we see in January as well. January always feels like a very, very fresh start, a very raw new beginning. But with October, we have this added dimension of the number zero next to it. And so we see something a little bit deeper going on. We, we go deep, essentially. <laughs> zero, uh, watch my video on the meaning of number zero, is a very interesting number. The concept of it is kind of a mind bender. You kind of start a philosophical discussion when you um, talk about the number zero. And the zero essentially is it's sometimes called the god number, uh, and it's basically the void. In fact, I think in that video that I made about the numerology of the number zero, I touch upon this this book that I'm currently writing, and it, reincarnation is in it. And during the lifetimes, I always envisioned, you know, okay, this is like the character state of the one life path and the two life path, etc. And then in between, I always had the number zero. So the way I kind of like to conceptualize the number zero as a numerologist is as if that's the spirit, um, just just spirit, when you're not in, in, incarnate, when you're not here in a body, you're not on a, a specific life path. So yeah, I, I don't even, <laughs> there's so much I could say. That's why I made a video about it. Uh, such an interesting number and what happens in October with this energy is that it asks us to go deeper It asks us to Reflect on shadow you might even do shadow work this month and how interesting is it that we have uh, First of all the season fall. So we're kind of shedding Okay, uh, if you're in the northern hemisphere in the southern hemisphere, you're in a different kind of transition that will ask you to go deeper. And we have uh, the, the holiday of Halloween here in the USA, and that is a very, <laughs> I think, significant month to the number 10. It makes a lot of sense. First of all, we have the number one, which is independence. And I think when Halloween comes, at least for a lot of us, it's an opportunity to express ourselves, to express our individuality, and 
the number one is a is kind of like self and, and individuality in this way but it's also spooky time <laughs> hence the number zero it is it is this this shadow is 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 embracing this shadow so you see a lot of scary and spooky stuff a lot of decorations in that way but also it is often said um, you know, especially with the Day of the Dead uh, tradition, with this this date at the end of the month of October, where it's almost like the, the veil thins a little bit, and we are in closer contact with that other side, and it's it's just coincides perfectly with the number zero, where we are confronted with that energy of going deeper asking asking questions and simultaneously integrating the last nine months with looking towards this new horizon that we will officially experience in January but we're we're not quite there yet and we have a few more things to do so my advice to you this month is going to be obvious based on what I already said so far is uh, basically focus on integration. Implement the lesson of the year. Embrace that new horizon that you probably are getting a sense of right now. It, it depends. It depends on where you are in your cycle. Is your room finally clean? <laughs> uh, has the theme of the year been realized and implemented and solidified? Embrace shadow work. Uh, this is a time to perhaps even get in touch with your intuition because that veil is thinner and if you're meant to receive something, if you're you're meant to start a new trajectory and you actually need to kind of like tune into what that is exactly, um, focus on yourself. Uh, focus on yourself and get in touch with your intuition. That can look like many different things. I know for me that means eating a little cleaner, maybe intermittent fasting. You know, um, if you're a caffeine addict, maybe cutting some of that out. If you are an escape artist and eat a glass of wine every single day, like me, maybe cut that out for a while. Or switch to something else that is cleaner, like edibles if that helps you sleep or something like that. You know, things, whatever that is for you, whatever whatever habits that you've had accumulated over the year, maybe taking a break from those and becoming kind of like a, a receptacle, you know, so be in a state of receiving, be open. Okay, we, we kind of get caught up in this time of the year as to what we want the next year. Sorry, the camera keeps not on focusing and focusing again, but kind of this time of the year, we get caught up on what the next year needs to look like, but maybe something else needs to happen that you haven't considered yet. You don't know until you actually get in touch with yourself, which is not just this flesh, you know, receptacle thing. <laughs> this not this uh, flesh prison that we all kind of are tied to right now, but it's it's also deep within spirit, your higher self, these concepts that we hear all the time. Explore, explore those things and what that means to you. And that's that's my advice for the month of October. Such a cool month. Every time October comes, it is just an amazing time to absorb what has happened during the year and start to look towards a new future, getting ready for that future. And I, I love October for this reason. I hope you do too. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe so that those who are meant to find my channel can. See you all soon. Take care.